<laughs> no further questions. We get better every time. <laughs> I'm gonna go rich tea. Oh, oh wow. If it's not for Duncan, it's for nothing. You're not very exotic with your biscuits, James, are you? Gotta live up to the reputation, mate. So our task is to decide the goat of all time, Dunkin' Biscuit. <laughs> our choices are malted milk, rich tea, hobnob, digestive, chocolate digestive, ginger nut, jammy dodgers, custard cream, cookies, nice, and shortbread. Now I think there's a few missing in there, I don't know if... This is the one, James. Miles off it, that. Scottish shortbread. What else is missing? Chocolate hobnob? A chocolate hobnob. I'm not a big hobnob fan, if I'm honest. Rich tea shouldn't be in business. Sorry. It's a pointless biscuit. Digestive. It is a bit bland, but it'd go perfectly with this cup of tea we've been supplied. If I'm dunking it, I want it to... It's got to last a dunk, at least, on it? I think that's where rich tea... I don't mind a rich tea, because obviously it's boring, like myself, but... <laughs> I think it's not lasting a dunk. That's why I like shortbread. It's got the thickness but it will just melt in your mouth. Not for me. You're licking it off your gums of shortbread afterwards, aren't you? I think. Yeah, sometimes. I could eat a whole pack of shortbread, me. Shock. Mm, no, no. Jammy Dodger? Love a Jammy Dodger. I think you've got to be in the right mood for a Jammy Dodger, though. You're right. There's times for it, isn't there? You're right. It's probably when you're at your most happiest. When you're a bit down, it's custard creams. I think my money's on Hobnob. Mm, I don't know. Don't mind the Hobnob. Hobnob's thick, but then you get those, like, you get the oaty bits at the bottom, don't you? Said party rings, but then we've gone, that's a novelty bis biscuit, apparently. Malted milk. Nah. I think that's a solid dunker. Might be wrong. Looks like it's got it's a bit of substance bit. behind no, it. No, it's missing a bit of chocolate on top, James. Right. Yeah, I'm dunking Are you this. going first? Straight for the shortbread. Oh, look at that, James. Yeah. I'm not sure you gave it enough dip. Mm. That was like a dip and go. That's like got a. I think that's oh, solid, look, solid look, performance look. from the shortbread, unfortunately. Oh, shortbread. Got to be in top five. You can't go straight in. You, you haven't tested anything else. I could taste the whole thing if you want me to. I'm gonna go rich tea. Oh, oh! Oh, it's held together nicely. Yeah, I think rich. T <coughs> oh! Yeah, got a dry bit there. Uh, <laughs> rich tea is not for dunking, really. I'd say that's one of the worst. What is rich tea for? If it's um, not for dunking, it's for nothing. It's probably when kids come in and say they want something to eat before the oh. dinner. And yeah, oh look, this is brilliant. Can I have a chocolate bar, Daddy? Tea. No, uh, you can have, have a rich tea. I'll oh, wait for my dinner then. <laughs> yeah. Just wait a minute. <laughs> Don't even need There's to taste this. Top five. Yeah, but how much, does, how much does it melt? I think yeah. test it with the heat. Have you ever tasted the ones with the caramel in between? Not for me, that's a bit too much. Oh, you're joking. Doesn't even fit. See, that's a down, you've got to mark it down mm. on that. You've got mm. the average cup, is this an fit. average cup size? It does fit, just, just. Fame. You could model biscuits, by the way. Fame. I hope we had a close-up of his mouth there while he's oh. taking a bite. The that's tech a, is. This appearance is no good for me, I'm going to get back <laughs> to you. <laughs> Best appearance ever for you. Mm. No, I've been wrapped up there. Better than shortbread? Aye. Yeah, Aye. really? Sorry, Scotland, but yeah, that is. That's in the top five. It's, I would right, say so top. move them both up and we'll decide at the end, but... No, I'm not sure shortbread makes it there. Oh, wow. Then, yeah. Really? Did you just put it in the middle of the road remember just bag, it could move up. Maybe you've got to go back to Scotland soon. Right, that's, that's out. Yeah, it's quite that's out. Now. Get that out. Goodbye, Rich T. What are we you, doing you've, about... You've been what? saying malted milk quite a lot. Yeah, I think it's, it looks all right. It's like a thicker version of rich tea, really, isn't it? You're not very exotic with your biscuits, James, are you? Got to live up to the reputation, mate. Nah, that could be worse than rich tea, actually. Could it? Right, get that. Bring that over here, get that out. Love a custard cream. Oh, why, why do we get the nut out of the way? Which has a zero ginger in it. I like a ginger nut as well. Talk to me. You don't like that ginger nut? That is rubbish. I, I, yeah, that's why I didn't want to try it. I think it's going to affect my opinion of a ginger nut because I like a ginger nut. What I will say is when you dip it, it holds it, but it does melt then. Yeah, and you get a, that's just a, a poor, aroma of ginger. That's a poor biscuit, that. So it's harshly done on ginger nut. I think it's no, got I to be in the reckoning and we've got to just go off memory of what we know about what ginger nut. What we know nut. about. That's just in top five without a shadow of a doubt. Yeah? Go on. Yeah. Or do you want to save that till end? Yeah, save bit that jam. time because yeah, it'll be better jam to finish. Poor man's cookie. To be fair to them, it's a good size for cup. It's a good size for dipping. Good size. <laughs> I flipped sandpaper. Where have you got these biscuits? 
<laughs> Seriously? <laughs> That's a shock. That's, 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 not doing, that's not doing it justice either. Nah, we'll we'll leave it here because it's it's unfair on it. So People we got two unfair. This is an unfair category, harshly yeah. done by Unf- category. Out like, potential, unfair. potential. These two are definitely out. Digestive Rich T's, Rich T's well over there. Like leave them there. Right, what's this one here? Nice, because I've never even seen that before. Surprise, consistent. Yeah. Surprise him. Yeah. <laughs> mm. I'd give it a wee taste, James, just because I'm, I'm not putting it in the top five, but... Apparently he's got coconut in. Oh, yeah, yeah you can, That's you can. Now. Do you not like coconut? No. Oh, no, it's a bush sticker trial. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not for me, coconut. Hobnob. Hobnob's going to be up there, So what it? we're thinking with that for coconut lovers? You liked it, didn't you? I didn't mind but it. it's a specific taste. I would put it in this and then we can decide between these. Because I think that's definitely going to be there. Well, go on then. If that's going to be one, do that now. The Dodger. I mean, look at it, it's just made... To dunk. To dunk. Oh, dude. They get better every time. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Is that going in at one, then? Well, oh, yeah? Not even a shadow of a doubt. Who I'm doesn't, my partner on that, who doesn't yeah. like a jammy dodger? Hobnob's up there. Oh, God's sake, James. <laughs> Why did he pick me? He's only got 3% body fat. You know what I mean? I've got, to, I've got to be the tester. The coconut ones put me off. Hobnob's up there. Something we haven't talked about with the dipping, you're going off the taste, but then you've also got to think what's left at the bottom of your brew. Is it leaving like bits? Is it losing oats? True. Are you getting that big sludge at bottom? Because that's the last <laughs> taste you have after your brew. You don't want to finish your brew and have that like Yeah, so that, what, that puts Hobnob. Maybe slightly down. I'd say digestive could be too. And hog got three. Guess I'm the designated taster now. I think this is going to be quite high for dipping. The thick, aren't they? Oh my god. How's the cream? <laughs> How's the cream held out with what? the dip? Unbelievable, James. Yeah. Look at my side compared to yours. Yeah, I like that. You got the cream coming through at the end. You could eat you? a whole bag of them, that's the problem. You don't have one or two of them. I think it's it's, it's better dipped than it's so like some of these are, might might be better dry, but that James, is that could be dip. that could be one. Really? <laughs> I think you've oh. got to give Jamie Dodger another go if you're doing that just to oh, Jesus <laughs> for me custard cream for me so where's this going third as a biscuit wow. as a biscuit a jammy Dodger's better but as a dunker custard cream so what We've got a digestive. I'm not even wasting my time with that, James. No? Not even wasting my time. Would that not just be a chocolate version of the custard cream? Yeah, you're right, James. <laughs> <laughs> not a fan of bourbon, it's too chocolatey for me. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Can't eat it, James. It's, a lot of people will be, think bourbon's right up there. That could cause a... Right, maybe I didn't dip it long enough. An online stir, that. Mm, that better. So it needs a long dunk. Because mm. it's quite thick. Again, that's a mood one, isn't it? That's a good one. Like, rather, you're not going to have, you're you're gonna have a bourbon on a morning, are you, to dunk? I'd rather I'd kick it over that. Digestive. This is Blansville, isn't it? Yeah. I'll go for that one. Yeah, go on then. There you go. <laughs> <That's> a... <laughs> no further questions. <laughs> yeah, that's that one sorted. No, digestive out. So, James, for the fifth one, I'm sorry, shortbread, but I don't think you make it. I, th- I think ginger nut. Nice. I, I haven't tried the ginger nut here because it's a disgrace to the ginger nut, but I like a ginger nut. Are we being too generous to Hobnob? Are we showing it too much respect? Ginger nut's a taste thing. The other though. thing we're going with the goat, does the goat have to be an all-time, like, you can have a this dipper morning, lunch, Good night, question, good question. Is a custard cream and jammy dodgy, you're not having it after your brekkie, Can we you? get more information on the question, please? This is serious. No, 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 this no, no, is going no. live. We Will need we? an all-round biscuit, don't we? I think ginger nut could be morning. I, I mean, are you going to have nut... this morning? No. No. So I mean, no. but it's lovely when you're. Mm. Have you got a bigger this... cup than me? Because surely that's got to be the same size. Or is it because the chocolate costs no, more no, to no. put on, mm-hmm. so like you lose a bit of biscuit? Mm, caught you out, digestive. Try to save some money, are we? <laughs> Get the chocolate ones bigger. <laughs> got to be same size, aren't <laughs> they? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> don't need to question yet. Hundred percent. Look at that skimping. Right. Look at them two in corner on that. No, no. Look at them. <laughs> Face the window. <laughs> <laughs> right, this is gone, because if you don't like They're coconut, gone. Babe. They're gone. And oh, I'm not throwing it down, I'm placing it there. Shortbread. So that's out? Close. Yeah, it's out. That could cause a stir. Is that better than that? 
I'd prefer that. Alright, so that's gone. I think that was harsh, James. I didn't need thrown. This is a big call. James, come on. I wouldn't yeah, put it there. For, I wouldn't put it there for just because it brought us a rubbish ginger nut biscuit. I think putting this in is again a bit similar to chocolate, although most people would. I think. Let's go ginger nut. I think we've got a nice variety then. Let's go ginger nut. We are going. Hobnob, these hobnob. Yeah, I think, I think being, you're right about hobnob. I think we're being generous to hobnob. I think most people will put shortbread in there. <laughs> I'll let you make the call, mate. Yeah, hobnob. Out. Shortbread. It's got to be bottom there now, I was going to say. Bit controversial, that list, you know. Right. I, think that's, I think that's a good list. I don't think many people could moan about that, really. Right, I think that's it. The goat list of Dunkin' Biscuits. For us that don't really eat biscuits. Of course, yeah.